Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you'll find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll talk about Air Canada buying back aeroplane and what does that mean for your points. Before I start, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, this is Ahmed Dan and if you're watching this channel for the first time, Congratulations, you found me. On this channel, I do uh, videos on travel uh, videos, uh, credit cards, points, uh, miles, and other videos. Utilizing credit card rewards, points, and miles, I travel the world uh, for free or paying very little, mainly on business class, and I document my travel. And you'll see those videos on this channel as well. So let's start with Aeroplan uh, and Air Canada. Air Canada created Aeroplan in 1984 to reverse uh, its uh, member and partner uh, alliance members. Uh, but in uh, 2008, Air Canada sold Aeroplan uh, as a separate entity. However, the partnership remained intact and uh, members were still able to collect and uh, redeem Aeroplan points on Air Canada and its alliance members. Then last year, Air Canada declared that uh, they will be separating from Aeroplan and they will create their own viewers program. And then this year, we are seeing that Aeroplan, uh, or sorry, Air Canada is uh, buying back Aeroplan again. So that's what I'll talk about today. So we all heard the news that uh, recently Air Canada and its consortium, which are made of uh, TD, CIBC, and Visa, they have agreed to buy back Aeroplan for $450 million. And uh, they will assume the liability of uh, the aeroplane redemptions, which would be at approximately $1.9 billion. So I'll talk about what it means for Air Canada to buy back aeroplane. Now, there, the members are worried that uh, once Air Canada completes the buyback of aeroplane, what will happen to their points, uh, whether it's going to be devalued or not, or whether uh, there will be other cutbacks on reverse or anything. Air Canada has confirmed that uh, the points will be transferable from Aeroplan to Air Canada's new reverse program, which uh, they haven't announced any name yet. However, they haven't uh, mentioned anything about the transfer ratio or whether the points are going to be devalued under the new program or not. So what it means that let's say if you have 1000 Aeroplan, you will be able to transfer it to the new uh, reverse program, uh, which will be created by Aero, uh, Air Canada. But they didn't mention anything or they didn't confirm that whether it's going to be, tr be uh, transferred at one is to one ratio. So for each 1,000 points, you're going to get 1,000 a new uh, Air Canada reverse program points or not. So that that's uh, one thing. And the other thing that uh, once the transfer or buyback completes, then uh, there might be devaluation because of uh, the huge amount Air Canada and its consortium is uh, spending uh, on buying back aeroplane. And also there is the assumed liability of uh, $1.9 billion. So I can see that there is a good chance that Air Canada has to devalue aeroplane uh, to make up for the losses or for the amount uh, for these uh, shortfalls so now if you are uh, worried about uh, what will happen to the points to your points or whether this is going to be uh, you know devalued or this is going to go decreasing value or reverse once the transfer happens the answer is no one knows anything for sure but if it was me then uh, I would uh, if it was me, I wouldn't be waiting to see what happens. Uh, if you, uh, right now, you still have uh, access to business class flights for Air Canada Alliance, which is the Star Alliance uh, partnership members, and you'll get very good value if you redeem your points for business class flights for those which do not charge any uh, surcharges or fees when you redeem aeroplanes so if you do that uh, then definitely you'll get good value for your aeroplane and i doubt that you're going to get better value than this after the transfer from aeroplane to air canada's new membership programs because air canada hasn't confirmed yet that what type of uh, reverse accessibility will have that point and whether we'll be able to access the like you know business class flights or uh, economy flights or what type of uh, redemption values will have so at this point 
if you are able to uh, redeem for business class flights uh, for those uh, partners uh, which you do not charge any fuel surcharges or fees to redeem aeroplane uh, points then definitely i doubt you're not going to get uh, better value than that uh, i have redeemed aeroplane uh, points for partnership members uh, which do not charge fuel surcharges for for example one of the most turkish airlines in the past and I got very good value. I have uh, other videos on that, which I'll link, uh, provide a link in the description box below. Now, in terms of credit cards and other rewards programs uh, or other uh, credit cards which offer aeroplanes, uh, we do not know that whether these credit cards will continue uh, giving the same uh, reward structures and benefits after the transfer uh, takes place. And I see there there's a good possibility that there will be more credit cards coming up in the future with the huge sign up bonuses. So that, that's something uh, I don't uh, see you need to worry about at this point. So if you have any airplane credit cards, uh, just keep earning. And uh, in the future, there might be better opportunities. So keep an eye for that. Uh, and uh, if you see something, uh, uh, you know, which offers you better, more reward earning opportunities or more bonuses, then definitely it's a good idea to sign up for those in the future but as of now uh, just you know things are as usual so if you have any airplane credit cards just like you know keep using them as usual because uh, no one knows at this point what's going to happen for these credit cards whether they are going to be go through a smooth transition to the new program or if their things will change and then uh, the other thing I'd like to mention that if you do not need to redeem anything right now, uh, if you're not, uh, you know, uh, come, if you do not have any travel plan or anything uh, before the end of the contract, which is uh, 2020, then uh, there is no need to rush to redeem your points. Uh, so if you need to redeem, redeem them and try to redeem it for business class flights to get the maximum value out of your points. But if you are not able to, if you don't have to redeem them, then you know just uh, keep earning them and uh, don't rush to redeem anything. Uh, because you know when you uh, take rush decisions, then uh, there are likely it's likely that you're going to be you know making uh, poor choices, uh, resulting uh, lower value for your points or aeroplane points. So at this point, uh, no need to rush on those. But if possible, or if you need to travel, then definitely go ahead with uh, redeeming for business class flights, which will give you the most value of your airplane. And uh, I I doubt that you'll get better value than this in the future. Even uh, you know Air Canada allows you to access business class class flights with Aero, uh, with the new program uh, or and, and uh, to uh, Air Canada and its alliance partners, which is the Star Alliance partners in the future. So that's uh, the summary uh, of what I wanted to talk about. So let's uh, just go through quickly. So you're going to get the best value when you redeem airplane for business class flights uh, using Star Alliance partners, which do not charge fuel surcharges. And for those partners which do not charge fuel surcharges, uh, you can watch my other videos. I have uh, mentioned those uh, partners, uh, which I'll give you a description uh, uh, which, which I'll give you a link in the description box below and if you don't need to redeem anything or if you do not have any travel plan coming up then there's no need to rush to redeem anything and at this point if you have those credit cards which are new aeroplane points uh, there's no need to rush uh, to cancel them or to do anything uh, drastically so just keep you know earning them and uh, definitely I see there will be no more credit cards coming up on the Canadian credit card market and there will be more opportunities and uh, no one knows at this point what transfer ratio airplane will get or when it gets transferred over to the new Air Canada Rewards program and if they will like you know devalue or if they will cut any benefits or what's going to happen so if it was me I would be definitely redeeming my airplane to get the max uh, uh, maximum value out of it uh, flying business class uh, so that's all for today if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and uh, there will be more videos coming up so I'll see you, see you shortly. Thank you for watching.